So hey y'all, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to do a get ready with me. Um, and then I'm going to take you guys along with me because for you, for those who didn't know, for you who didn't know, however, I wanted to spit it out. Um, I will, I am. Y'all know if you notice, sometimes I, it's just hard for me to do two things at once. So let me just sit here for a second and, and tell you what it's going to be all about. Today, I am going to be doing an interview. And for those of you who do not know, I have a home health care and it's growing. It's actually getting up and running. It's growing. I'm getting more clients. I'm getting more employees. And... That's what it is. I guess you could say because I'm getting more clients, I need more employees and I'm going through the steps of getting everything pretty much in order for the business, all my certifications, all my licensors, all that good stuff. I'm in the process of, of just pretty much closing in on all of that. So I'm hoping to be really doing some big things in at least the first three to four months of the year. So I'll be taking you guys with me. I have to pick up like a printer. Um, also, a little stand I purchased from OfferUp. And I'm just taking you into my office so you guys can see the not finished product, but it's coming along. If you follow me on my Instagram and my um, my Instagram and my Snapchat, you will see, you can keep up with me. Like I always post the different things that I'm doing there. I haven't really did a huge video yet on it because I'm like gathering scenes and like when I went to Richmond to actually put in for my home health care license and things like that. So yeah, I am um, pretty much have that coming in a whole vlog by itself. But as I always state, I'm trying to get better with these videos and it's vlogmas and I want to really get into it. So yeah, I'm going to have some good content, content coming for you all and some good motivation for people who are starting up businesses because I started from the bottom. And I mean, I'm up from the bottom just a little bit, but I'm still in that lower bottom <laughs> part. I am a beginning, a beginner, not beginning, beginner. I taught myself, studied myself, um, and pretty much this is what I'm doing. So we got a lot in store for you today. Um, I'm putting on my moisturizer. This is Hyaluronic Acid Day Cream. And it's good for moisturizing your skin. I have a birthday vlog coming and I'm not sure if you watched that. But if so, I'm going to put the link up there somewhere so you can click on it when you finish this video though. Yeah, when you finish this video. But anyway, yeah, I had used lemon, like pure lemon on my face. And I did it for a while. And on the video, you will see the dry spots I had. Well, I use like the gold mask. And that helps bring it back. I use this stuff called Simon Salve. And I've just been making sure that I stay away from things that are a whole lot of ingredients and products we don't need. And I've been using basically natural products and bringing my skin back. So one thing that I noticed is really good, and I showed you in that video too, is this Castile soap. Like, I know you're thinking $5 for a bottle of soap. But a bottle of soap, <laughs> a bar of soap, but it's not to me, it's not expensive when it gives you what you need. It's um, it's a gentle cleansing care and it's 100% pure extra virgin organic olive oil. Um, and it's pretty much good for sensitive skin. It's a natural moisturizer and it contains a lot of powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. So it gives you your skin that nutrients it does. If you notice some of the masks that I make, like they have avocado, um, pure olive oil, honey, those are things that's good for our skin. So honestly, it brought my skin back. It's still, you know, kind of getting together and 
I'm aging a little bit, but you know, it's all in beauty. It's all in beauty. So we're going to get this popping because seriously, I have to um, get up out of here because I have an interview, guys. I have an interview for a new caregiver today. So let's hope it goes good. And that's at three. But before I do that, I'm going to go to the Office Depot or something like that and try to look for me a printer. And I'm trying to look for a good printer where I can take pictures of my staff and like print it out on their badges yeah because I'm about to get badges for them and everything like I feel like a true I don't like to say boss but leader because I like to lead people in the right direction and my goal is to definitely pull out as much as I can from each individual that I come across their fullest potential. I want everybody to always acknowledge and identify their challenges and their strengths. It makes you a better person and it makes you go get what you're trying to get. It makes you be a go-getter, you know, because nothing in worth, nothing in life worth having is going to fall directly in your lap. So yeah, I, enough of that, right? But no, that's, that's what it's all about. This get ready with me. And guys, all I'm doing right now is with the it powder, I'm just putting a little bit here a little bit in my T-zones where I get a little oilier than normal place. So I'm going to let that sit for a while and um, just kind of do the bait thing. It really does help me for some reason. As I said, I'm getting older. I mean, but that's nothing because I'm still beautiful. But don't think I'm old, bitches, because I'm not. Yeah. Anywho. So this helps, you know, reduce the pores and stuff like that and y'all see my i never did a video on my bonnet but this bonnet is hot i'm gonna put the information down below in my description um box so you can check out her website because i am a small business owner and one thing i am all about is supporting my own if we can all just get that that mindset we will be a force okay when we're together yes i'm all for my black power although i am all for diversity i just like to support my culture um and yeah i got this from i think it's like asafreen or something like that but let me tell you it is bomb actually i can take it out as i'm baking a little bit i'm gonna curl my hair and stuff today but it has silk in the inside guys yes and there are different prices some may think oh you're paying that much for a bonnet but i don't know about you but i live by my bonnet so i know it was money well well spent okay <laughs> all right so guys what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put you on hold i'm gonna get these eyebrows on i'm not gonna do a real beat because again i'm just trying to look presentable um, because I have an interview today with someone. Um, I'll be giving the interview just so you'll know. I'm not being the interviewee. I am the interviewer. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, let me do these eyes real quick. We're going to do this really fast because it's 12.51 and no question, I need to be out of here by no later than 1.30. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and it took me a little longer because I got a call from one of my caregivers but i think i got the concept together and i'm gonna make this real quick because of that phone call it's now 140 and as i always say i need to be out here by one time and don't get out of here by that time but this is not gonna be a real serious beat guys like i said i have a, um an interview and i'm just i'm just getting right for it this is by the way becca um I love this if you have dark colored skin and you know african-american hispanic you know i highly suggest this i was recommended becca by someone a while back and i tried it i wanted to try it first before i spent um full price i got it from tj maxx tj maxx we have everything you want and this is my rose water facial spray and I'm going to spray my clean, my clean, my clean, clean beauty blender. I have a smaller one because I'm really, I really don't um, use this a lot. I like this better, but I'm going to use it today since I'm not going to um, use a whole lot and let it just kind of 
yeah and y'all see i had before i um came back on i took my little baking stuff off and now i'm getting glam and i gotta put a couple of curls in my hair because my goal is to get out of here and go get the printer before my interview and i can't because when i'm when i'm finished i've been working on true i'm gonna put a little dab i've been working on true home healthcare all morning so i kind of um want to be done with everything once i do the interview and start enjoying my friday <laughs> I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on or anything. I'm going to make this a real, real, real clean face. I'm not going to do a whole lot. But yeah, and um, I'm going to take y'all with me. So let me finish doing this and yeah. Okay guys, we're all set, we're ready to go. We're ready to be looking like a good professional leader and do this interview. And I got all of this curled, so I'm ready. I'm late, <laughs> but I'm ready. So come with me in my world. Top it off with a little bit of lippy. I just noticed I forgot that. <laughs> I'm doing all of that and now I know lippy. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, guys. Very um, subtle beat, nothing major. Um, I like this too, guys. This is. Um, I got this in a pack. I forgot what the name of it was, but it's like a whole bunch of little ones. Hold on, let me see. I 
had got them in like a gift pack. And they're all, it was, it was a whole lot of them, but I guess the name is probably not up here anymore. I don't know if it was, yeah, they were Maybelline. So I got all different types of shades of color. And um, so I've tried, maybe not all of them, but this is my first time wearing this one. And I like it. It lights, it, it, my beat is good. It doesn't look like, you know, I'm working too hard. And I'll put some little curls in the bottom of my hair with this here. And now, guys, I really do got to get out of here. So, come with me. And we're going to have some fun. It's Friday. It's Friday. I'm getting better with this makeup thing. Thank you, YouTube makeup gurus. You're teaching me a lot. I'll see y'all in a few. Hey, guys. I know this is, you can't see me because I'm sitting at my desk. Yes, my desk. So as promised, I was bringing you guys to my office space. I will be conducting an interview today. And I wanted you guys to see where we are at. We got my door put up finally because at first it wasn't a door here. We got the floors laid. And we still have some other things that we need to get together. Like that right there looks down on the other business that's downstairs. So I'm going to get some curtains to put up there we have a tv in here and basically this is a home health care company so starting off it would just be the front desk secretary receptionist whatever you want to give that person the title of they'll be here answering the phones and setting up consultations which my consultations are free um, once you're ready to sign up for service, then we get you an assessment by a nurse, which is a cost. And then we start service. And we usually can get you someone in your home within 24 hours of the actual assessment. Unless otherwise requested, you know, at a later date. But this is um, what I do. It's called True Home Healthcare. This is my home healthcare business. As you all know on my YouTube, you see True Chic, which is my fashion accessory lines, and I really hit it off with like waist trainers, so I'm trying to get that website up. But for now, this is my home health. So when you see this, you know it's me. Most likely though, I will be redoing my logo. I think I might, I don't know, but these are my business cards, so yeah. We're trying to get it together, honey. We are trying to get it together in 2019. I plan on definitely rocking and rolling. So, um, yeah, I'm excited, nervous, all at the same time, um, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't know if this is what people would call it, but to me, it's almost like more money, more problems. <laughs> like Biggie said, that's really true. Like I'm excited and being my own boss is, is it is, I'm elated, but I know it comes with a whole lot of work, dedication and discipline. So definitely know that it is not just fun and games. Oh, because you get to work for yourself or you can make your own hours. That all sounds good. But if you're really trying to be profitable, productive and giving a high quality service or product you're going to want to put your all into it so being your own boss sometimes consists of you working 24 hours a day seven days a week and i'm serious and this girl trust me i got receipts okay <laughs> true life receipts and this work it's not easy okay I am, I am a professional. I became passionate about being a professional ass wiper. Now doctors and people in the medical field does not like those type of labels, but it is what it is. But know that I enjoy it. I found my passion once I started to do the process and being a CNA. So I basically went from CNA to CEO. I loved it so much. I didn't want to take the heart out of it. Because once you become a registered nurse, once you become um, a physician assistant or a physician, 
the connection with the patient isn't really there, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, guys. Um, but when you are like a CNA, when you are a PCA, you really have time to sit there. I mean, that's your job. You know, you sit there, you keep them company, which is companionship. You get to talk, you get to find out about your client, you get to know them, and at times you get connected, you know, so I enjoy that part of it. And I've been doing this now for about seven years, to believe it or not, and I enjoyed it. I started off doing um, home health, no, I'm sorry, in the nursing home, then I ventured out to home health care. And then some people actually, when I used to work in the nursing home, I came across them once upon a time doing some point, and they actually would want me to be like their their actual aide, their nurse. So some hired me on a private basis. Some I went out on my own and word of mouth. And so I figured, you know what? The medical field is not doing anything but booming. And based off statistical records and numbers, it's not going to do anything but increase. So you know what I said? Let me go ahead and make this a business and turn this into a profitable stance and not just something, you know, basically like they say, take your hobby and turn it into your business because then you will never be working. That is the best way to sum it up. And that's basically what I did. So I'm going to do get some things set up. I'm waiting on my answer viewee and I did give her until 3 15 it's 3 22 now so we shall see um but yeah I'll be back guys I finally found it because of him thank you You're welcome. so we we're walking out of here with that printer because I have to get a whole nother machine the life of an entrepreneur uh I have to get another machine, guys, for this um, badges. Yeah, it's a whole different type of machine for what I'm trying to do. And I'm, I'm going to have to go online for that. But I still needed a printer, so we're still winning. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you have a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. A happy holiday. All right, guys. So this is the kind of printer I got. Nothing fancy, smanchy. Um, gets the job done. It's an HP. So I'm going to be putting this in my office. It's going to do what it needs to do. It's an all-in-one printer. Um, I did find out, though, I was getting a little frustrated, as y'all already know. But I did find out that the badge, me trying to make my own badges and stuff, it's not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. It's like a whole different machine. Like a whole entire different machine. They do not sell it here. I'm gonna have to go like to Amazon or something like that. So I still needed a printer. So we still winning. So I'm excited because I'm getting things done. And the guy that helped me find a printer, his name Leo. Y'all wouldn't even imagine. Like, I feel like the stuff that I'm doing is, like, really so meant to be. Because Leo does digital graphing and stuff. And you guys know I love to vlog. Like, I love this. I love putting it on camera. I love doing all of this, right? But my time with True Home Healthcare takes over. And I be so tired. And y'all know I still work my full-time job. That I get footage... <laughs> But I just never have the time to edit it. So now Leo is bringing that light to me. So let's just hope <laughs> he's dependable. He seems like he is. So the college students, you know, those are the best ones, honey. And I'm trying to decide, am I going to go? I need to do some shopping um, for the office. I need like a trash can and some other stuff. But... I sat there for a while today. I did get some things done um, because the girl who I was interviewing, she got lost. So we just rescheduled. Things happen. So it is what it is. But it allowed me to like start some things with the filing and things of that nature. So I'm going to go back to the office, put this printer in there. And then, guys, I think I might get my Friday night started because I think it's time to celebrate. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, I'm excited. Stuff is working out. Oh, 
I do need a new memory card though because it's Vlogmas and I need all of that in my life. Alright guys, happy Friday.